What's up guys? Dave from Six String Stanger again, or just Six String Stanger, whatever you want to call me. Anyway, uh, yeah, this may look like a repeat video, but it's not, because this here is yet another Kramer guitar. After I got this one, I uh, couldn't help myself. <laughs> so let's go ahead and unbox this, and uh, we'll just see how pretty and uh, nice this one is, okay? Same type of guitar. This is one 179. So let's go ahead and unbox it and uh, see what we got. Holy crap, this thing is gonna be badass. I don't know what it is, man. I, when I open these up and I get a look, at what's inside, I just get all excited. There's, uh, of course, the Kramer sticker you get with all your Kramer guitars. Um, this just takes me back, guys. Here we go. Let's just get ahead and unbox it, get it all good. See what we got in this bad boy. All right. Oh my God, dude. I am a big fan of purple. I, I don't know what it is. I just, I like purple, so. It's gonna be big to me. Oh yeah. Look at this, look at this headstock, my gosh. Look at that. That is cool as crap, man. Very nice. Holy crap. All right, let's go ahead and get it out of the bag. <whistles> Holy moly, look at this. Look at this. That is beautiful. I don't know what it's coming out like on camera. It almost looks like a bluish color on camera, but this is purple. Uh, while I'm editing, I'll try to go ahead and uh, maybe you know, sharpen the image a little bit, but man, there it is, man, purple. Same specs as the other one I got, um, if you remember the other video, you know, maple fretboard, mahogany body, um, Alenco, Alenco 5 pickup, and, uh, you know, that's just one volume knob, that's it. Simple, plain, to the point, uh, of course, cheap tuners, you're going to get that with, uh, you know, $179 guitar. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, of course, you get your get your uh, instructions on how to uh, you know adjust your truss rod. You get your whammy bar in here and things like that. Then put that over there. I did get cases for these, but the cases were also out of stock, um, so I had to wait on that for a minute. Look at that. Look at this. Badass guys. Badass. I mean, unbelievable. They look great. I love these. All right, guys. So I have seen some videos where you know they get a second one of these, and um, you know they're like, "Well, my luck ran out. Uh, not really that good. Yeah, the fret ends or this or that. Yeah, sprouting here and yeah, bah, bah, bah. unleveling frets and you know all this stuff." I'll be honest with you. This is the second one I got. Whoa, <laughs> second one I got, um, and I am very fortunate. Um, the neck is straight on. Tuned up perfectly, stays in tune decently. Uh, of course, you know, these tuners are just run-of-the-mill type tuners. They're not, like, good tuners, of course. But um, for what it is, for 179 guys, you can't beat it. Um, the, the frets are rolled over very nicely on the edge. Um, I don't know if you can get in there or not and see, but very nice fret work done. Um, beautiful maple uh, neck here. Very nice. So let's uh, let's go ahead and plug in and see what we got. This thing is no different than this pink one. Um, there are a couple of slight things uh, upon tuning. Now I did take a break for a second and I did raise the low E string up because there was a little bit of fret buzz. Um, other than that, uh, basics, same thing, the nice fret rolled ins, they're, they're just, they're spot on man. Uh, an amazing guitar, looks great, 
Sounds good. I mean, just sounds amazing. Um, wow. For 179 bucks, dude, you can't beat this. Go out and get one. Uh, the badass. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time on this video. Just gonna play around a little bit, and uh, anyway, you can get some tones. Um, we'll go ahead and put a clean sound on, and uh, see what you guys think of that. So like I said, um, you know, this volume is just 0 to 60. Like, bam, bam. It's just like nothing. It's either off or on. Um, so that's the only problem that I see with this. <coughs> other than that, which I heard there's other things you can do, which I may try. Uh, some people have actually gotten into the back cavity and there's a uh, treble bleed on there. Or some kind of something. And they, they cut one of the um, leads off of that. And it works just normal. And uh, these aren't your regular little dime pots either. Um, they're actually a pretty good size pot uh, in here. So uh, it's either on or off. And if you notice on the clean, if, if you barely turn it on, you get sparkly. You turn it all the way up, it's a little more rich. It's, it's give and take. Um, like I said, I may chop that off, depending on what you're going for. But uh, for most people that just play don't want to play some rock guitar, uh, just leave it alone. <laughs> really. So this really does rock. Uh, I love this guitar. Super cool. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with Kramer. I just love these things. Um, they're badass. Right now, honestly, for $179, you can't beat the specs. The only bad news is, I don't know if it's because of supply and demand or what, but uh, they're raising the prices. They're actually going up to about $199. I believe the purple has now hit $199. Um, the blue has hit $199. Uh, I don't know if that's just because of the paint colors or supply and demand or what, but um, but yeah, they're starting to go up in price. Which, hey, I can't you can't blame them. Oh, I love a chair. <laughs> anyway, so you know I may be taking a chance between uh, getting different guitars like that, but these are all awesome. For one seventy nine, you can't beat it right now. Certain colors, I believe the pink here or uh, ruby red, whatever they call it, uh, is still $179. Um, but yeah, for 200 bucks even, these guitars are awesome, not only for the beginner uh, player, but for a guy that's maybe been playing for a while, that just wants a different guitar to play, a uh, nice backup guitar, you know, get some different tuners on here, and a different nut on it, and this thing would be a rocker. I wouldn't advise using the the tremolo, it will knock it straight out. Um, but you know, you can block that off, whatever. Screw it straight down to the body, you're good to go. Um, I mean, these things are just awesome. It'd be a great modding machine. Um, 
slide you a different pickup in there. Maybe you got a favorite pickup. I've even thought about putting the Screaming Demon from George Lynch in here. Uh, that's one of my favorite pickups. And uh, that'd be a nice 80s tone, really kick it up and make it sound cool. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, honest to God, okay, it's pretty well in tune, decently. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not a lead player, we all know that. If you're new to my channel, hey, subscribe. But if you didn't know, I don't play leads very often, and I don't play guitar very often anymore, but... Uh, you know, I'll try to do some string bands and stuff and show you the durability of these tuners. Um, you know, and I'm pretty, this is 1046 gauge strings on here. They say it's Diodario, or Diodario, however you want to say it, which that's one of my favorite string brands, but um, I don't know if it's the EXLs that I use because those, uh, they had the string, the string ball on the bottom of it, they're all different colors. These here are not, so maybe a different brand or a different type of Diodario, I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, let's just shut up and play. <laughs> Okay, so there's just a little string bends. Still kind of in tune. It's not bad. Let's try. Uh, let's try something else. I suck! Okay, let's try. Oh, I forgot that was in uh, drop D. Anyway, so you see I did some string bends there. Um, but anyway, the string bends... You can count on to a point. But I wouldn't count on them all the time. <laughs> because there's been times where I've done that and I've come back out and, and just like, I'll play a chord and it's just like done. It. But uh, for the most part, as long as you're not too crazy with your string bends, it'll stay in tune. Okay, now keep in mind when I'm doing my string bends, I'm not like going up to the next note. Uh, I'm just doing a slight bend with a vibrato. I'm not like really killing it. Um, so if you want to try to get crazy with it, we can try that. Let's try that. Okay, so that was pretty stretchy. Wow. Okay, all right. So let's put it this way. You get these locked in where you need them, and it's not a locking tuner by any means. These are just, just regular branded tuner deal. It's, they're nothing major. Um, but I would say as long as you're delicate and not going crazy with your string bends, you'll be fine. Pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, really awesome guitar. Purple. It's purple. I'm gonna, Like I said, hopefully when I edited this, I will enhance the color, kind of make it more enriched. That way you can see that. And you can also see that this is actually pink. Um, so let me know what color you guys like the best. Uh, like I said, later down the line, we will have... A white one and we will have a blue one and we'll do tests on those and compare it to everything um, this guitar here 
straight out of the box after I got it tuned was perfect. I mean, there was no issues. I didn't have to do anything to it. Not that I had to do much to this. I just had to raise the low E string to uh, get some slight fret buzz off. And it wasn't horrible fret buzz. It was just enough. Uh, for me, I don't like a bunch of fret buzz or I don't like any, hardly any fret buzz when I play. It's a little easier to have harmonics that way. Um, overall, if you really, really, really want to get super technical, uh, we can shoot up and look closely here. Oh, let me see. So on this one, if you notice the strings, notice how they hit the pole pieces perfectly. They come down, they hit that top, and they hit the bottom one perfect. Let me get my fingers off the string, maybe that'll help a little bit. But uh, they, hit the, they hit the pole pieces just right. Now on this one here, it's off slightly. If you notice, it's just off just a little bit off the bottom pole pieces. Um, it doesn't sound bad. It still plays good. Um, and that I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but as far as tone goes, you know, uh, this one here s still sounds good. I, this one here I do, I kind of like a little more as far as the tone goes, but, um, I mean, they sound so close to identical. It's not even funny. It's just one of those little things when you, you know, you got your ear going and you're like, whoa, hey man, that kind of sounds weird. Or it sounds different. It's just not bad. Still got a nice rock tone, still sounds good. It's made to rock hard, just like Kramer says. All right, guys, enough of me shutting or running my mouth. Yeah, shutting my mouth. Ha, that'd be the day. Anyway, like the video, drop a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Like I said, I got two more days coming down the line. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on, everybody. Don't forget that it's all about the music. Let me know which one you like better than the other as far as color. And we will see you in the next one. Rock on, everybody. Later. Love ya. Bye.